subscribe ecofan for more educational videos welcome dear learners today we are going to discuss about covid-19 and environment covid-19 or coronavirus is an infectious disease caused by sars virus and most people infected with this virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring a special treatment like hospitalization however some people become seriously ill and require medical attention and uh, moreover old people and those with underlying medical conditions like uh, cardiovascular disease diabetes chronic respiratory disease or cancer are more likely to develop the serious illness because of this virus anyone can get sick with covid-19 and become seriously ill or die at any stage right now we are seeing the scenarios going all over the world and in india particularly there is a sharp rise in covid-19 cases and this is considered a third wave the spike of this wave is very high but the duration is very less mortality is very less as compared to the early two waves because of the intensive uh, vaccination programs that were carried out by the government the population has developed the resistance against this virus so in this lecture we are going to discuss what are the environmental implications maybe it is positive or negative implications of uh, covid-19 so as mentioned by united nations secretary general in his call for solidarity i quote we are facing a global health crisis unlike in any the 75 years history of united nations one that is spreading human suffering infections uh, the global in, uh, infections and infecting the global uh, economy and upending people's lives he also added i quote we must ensure that lessons are learned and that this crisis provide a watershed uh, moment for health emergency preparedness and for investment in crucial 21st century public services and uh, the effective delivery of global public goods we have framework for action that is the 2030 agenda for sustainable development and the paris agreement on climate change so these were the words of the united nations secretary general about covid 19 in relation with to the environment and climate change let us have a brief discussion about the impacts of covid 19 on overall uh, on the globe so the impacts of covid 19 has led to a dramatic loss of lives particularly human lives worldwide and presents an unprecedented challenge to health uh, health uh, public health food system and the world of work the economic and social disruption caused by the pandemic is devastating tens of millions of people are at risk for falling into extreme poverty while the number of the people are undernourished millions of enterprises face an existential threat nearly half of the world's 33 3.3 billion global workforce are at risk uh, of losing their lives uh, informal economy workers are particularly vulnerable because the majority lack social protection and access to quality health care and have lost access to productive assets so without the means of uh, earning and uh, economic or income during lockdowns many of unable to feed many of us are unable to feed themselves and their family and most of, no income means no food 
and at best less food less nutrition uh, for the people the pandemic has been affecting the entire food system and has led bare its fragility border closures trade restrictions and confinement measures have been preventing farmers from accessing markets including for buying inputs and selling their produce and agriculture workers from harvesting crops thus disrupting domestic and international food supply chains and reducing access to health healthy safe and diverse diets the pandemic has uh, decimated jobs and placed millions of people at risk as breadwinners lose jobs fall ill and die the food security and nutrition of millions of women and men are under threat with those in low income countries particularly the most marginalized population which includes small scale farmers and indigenous people being hard hit millions of agriculture workers waged and self employed while feeding the world regularly face high level of working poverty malnutrition and poor health and suffering from lack of safety and labor protection as well as other types of abuse with low and irregular incomes and lack of social support many of them are suffered to continue working uh, often in unsafe condition thus exposing themselves and their families to additional risk further when experience uh, when experiencing income losses they have resort to negative coping strategies such as distress sale of assets predatory loans or child labor migrant agricultural workers are particularly vulnerable because they face a risk in their transportation working and living condition and struggle to access support measures and put in place by the government and guaranteeing the safety and health of all agri food workers from primary producers to those involved in food processing transport and retail include street food vendors as well as better income and protection and will be critical for to saving lives and protecting public health people's lives and food safety so these were some concerns or the impacts of covid-19 that has been uh, witnessed from 2020 on public health food system work industry transportation whatever sector uh, we discuss about in relation to covid-19 has been impacted so our goal of this lecture is to explore the impacts of covid-19 on the environment as you can see in this picture various kinds of impacts have been visualized for example covid-19 having the positive impacts like lockdown travel restriction or slowing down of economic activities and these reduces in the fossil fuel consumption re reduce resource consumption and waste disposal reduce transportation and industrial activities and reduce pressure on tourism or tourist destinations which overall reduces the greenhouse gas emission reduce the pollution and also improves the air and water quality reduce the noise pollution and overall solid waste pollution has been reduced and the ecological restoration have been uh, basically initiated but on the other hand there are some negative impacts of covid-19 on the environment for example personal production equipment use pressure in hospital hampering recycling activities so these activities are for example increase in the medical waste have as a disposal of ppe kits or masks increase in uh, municipal waste lessening recycle activities and these all activities leads to the increase in hazardous wastes 
plastic waste or soil, soil, soil and water pollution, air, water and soil pollution, and increase in the environmental pollution. So the global disruption uh, caused by COVID-19 has brought in several uh, effects on environment and climate. Due to the moment of restriction and significant slowdown of social and economic activities, air quality has improved in many cities with the or a reduction in water pollution in different parts of the world. But as I mentioned earlier, there have been increase in the PPE kits that includes hand gloves, face masks, face shields, and their haphazard disposal and generation have a huge impact on the environment. So these were some positive as well as negative impacts of COVID-19 on the environment. Let's have a brief discussion about <clears throat> these impacts. So first we discuss about the positive environmental effects. The first one is a reduction in air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. As we know, most of the industry transportation companies have been closed down due to lockdown of COVID-19, uh, particularly before the launch of the vaccine. It has brought uh, a sudden drop in greenhouse gas emissions. Up to 54.3% uh, decrease in nitrous oxide was observed in Brazil and it uh, was also stated that levels of nitrous oxide particulate matter 2.2 have reduced up to 70% in Delhi, the capital of India and overall 46 to and 50 percent reduction in particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter 10 respectively uh, in the nation or in India and uh, when there was a nationwide lockdown. It is assumed that vehicles and aviation uh, are the key contributors of emission and contribute about 72 to 11 72 and 11 percent of the transportation uh, sector greenhouse gas emission respectively so the measures taken globally for containment of the virus are also having a dramatic impact on the aviation sector Many countries restricted international travels from entering and departure. Due to decreased passengers and restriction worldwide, flights were being cancelled by the commercial aircraft companies. For instance, in China, uh, reduced 5 to, uh, 50 to 90 percent capacity of departure and 70 percent domestic flights due to pandemic. And also, uh, there was reduction in uh, CO2 emissions over the period of time. So these were some positive, I mean, uh, with respect to the air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. <clears throat> so another was the reduction in the water pollution. So during the lockdown period, the major industrial sources of pollution have shrunk or completely stopped, which have helped to reduce the pollution load. For instance, the river Ganga or Ganges, Yamuna have reached a significant level of purity due to absence of industrial uh, pollution and uh, on the days of lockdown in India. It is found that among the 36 real-time monitors, uh, st monitoring stations of the river Ganga, uh, water from 27 stations meet the permissible limits. This improvement in the water quality at Haridwar and Rishikesh, for example, was ascribed to a sudden drop of the number of visitors and 500% reduction in sewage and industrial effluents. So this is a, a very good uh, impact of COVID-19 on the water, uh, I mean, pollution. So there was a reduction in noise pollution also. So the quarantine and lockdown measures mandated that people stay at home and reduced economic activities and communication worldwide, which ultimately reduces the noise uh, level in most of the cities. For instance, noise uh, levels in Delhi, uh, the capital of India, is reduced drastically around 40 to 50% in recent lockdown. 
due to reduction of vehicle movement during the lockdown period the noise level in Govindpuri uh, metro station for example uh, was reduced up to 50 to 60 decibels from 100 decibels and according to central pollution control board 2020 of uh, india noise pollution level of residential areas in delhi reduced to 55 decibels in da daytime and 45 decibels at night time to 40 decibels uh, from 55 to 40 decibels in the day daytime and 45 decibels to 30 de decibels at nine, uh, night time so there was a uh, positive impact on ecological restoration also it is estimated that the uh, tourism industry is responsible for eight percent of global gas greenhouse gas emissions so due to the outbreak of covid 19 and uh, local restriction the number of tourists have reduced the tourist spots uh, <clears throat> around the world so as a result there was a restriction and the color of the seawater has changed back to it is normal uh, because earlier because of the boats and uh, other kind of activities it got disturbed so there was a reduction also the tourist places uh, where the local tourists to visit there is a reduction in the plastic pollution or what we call the human prints that they leave the garbage behind that was drastically reduced and that this all leads to an ecological restoration nature has a property it restore, uh, restores itself uh, slowly over the period of time so when we talk about the negative impacts of the covid 19 on the environment first one is the increase of biomedical wastes for instance uh, in China, in the city of Wuhan, it produced more than 250 metric tons of medical wastes every year during the time of outbreak. So, well, if we remember, the first uh, outbreak of COVID-19 was traced back to the Wuhan city of the China. So, this has led to uh, increase globally uh, the medical wastes because there was a major threat to the public health and environment so medical waste has increased mm -hmm. so medical waste for example for sample collection uh, of covid 19 suspected patients diagnosis treatment of huge a huge number of patients and disinfection purpose lots of infectious and medical wastes are generated from the hospitals so in for example, in the city of Ahmedabad, the India, around, uh, amount of medical waste generated increased from 550 to 600 kg per day to 1000 kg per day. So that was a drastic increase. And such a sudden rise in hazardous wastes and their proper management has become a significant challenge. To the local waste management authorities according to recent published literature it is reported that the SARS virus that is COVID-19 can exist uh, a day on cardboard and up to three days on plastic and stainless steel so waste generated from hospitals for example needles syringe bandage mask gloves or use of tissue or discarded medicines should be managed properly to reduce further infection and environmental pollution which is now a matter of concern globally and at national level second one is safety equipment and use of hazard disposal so since the outbreak of covid 19 the production and the use of plastic based personal production equipment is increased worldwide for instance China increased daily production of medical masks to 14.8 million and due to lack of knowledge about infectious waste management most of people dump these for example face masks uh, face uh, shield hand gloves in an open place and in some cases in household waste so such half as a dumping of these trash creates a clogging in waterways and worsens the environmental pollution 
so there is municipal solid waste generation and reduction in recycling also so due to pa pandemic quarantine policies established in many countries have led to an increase in the demand of online shopping for home delivery which ultimately increases the amount of household wastes from shipping packaging material so due to pandemic many countries postponed waste recycling activities due to transmission of viral infection for instance usa restricted the recycling programs in many countries nearly 46 percent as government worried about risk of covid 19 spreading in recycling facilities also in united kingdom italy and other european countries have pro prohibited infected residents from sorting their wastes overall due to disruption uh, of the municipal waste and waste recovery recycling uh, activities increase uh, increasing the landfilling and environmental pollutants worldwide so such an extensive uh, use of uh, disinfects may also uh, not kill the target uh, beneficial state because when any person is infected because recently huge amount of disinfectants have been applied into roads and commercial uh, and residential areas to extreme uh, extra uh, exterminate uh, the covid 19 and such use of uh, infectants may kill non-target beneficial species and which may create an ecological imbalance this is also an environmental implications uh, besides all other negative impacts which i have discussed in this lecture moreover covid 19 was detected uh, in patients uh, feces and also from the municipal wastewater in many countries including australia india sweden netherlands and also in usa so additional measures in wastewater treatment are essential which is challenging for developing countries like India, where municipal wastewater is drained into nearby aquatic bodies and rivers without treatment. So the countries like China have already strengthened the infection process by increasing uh, increased use of chlorine uh, into the water bodies to prevent COVID-19 virus spreading through wastewater. But the excessive use of chlorine in water could also generate harmful uh, I mean the byproducts also so this was all about what are the various uh, env environmental impacts maybe positive or in a negative impacts of COVID-19 on the environment I hope you all enjoy this lecture thank you mm -hmm.